hi guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel how are you all doing hope you all are doing great so today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all my hamatan skincare routine the product i use on my ham uh, on hamatan season as you all know we are already in the hamatan season so i'm going to be sharing with you all my products i use in hamatan season to retain moisture to still um enhance my skin glow and you know to prevent as much as possible to prevent dryness that is associated with hammer time so without wasting so much of your time let's dive right into the video so before I go into the um, product, before I go into sharing with you all the products I use during the Hamatan season, I'm going to say, I'm just going to give you like few things you need to know, how you need to like take care of yourself during this Hamatan season. And one of those things are during the Hamatan season, if you're the type of person that don't like taking so much water, you need to increase your water intake taking more water during the hamatan season is very very important it is going to help you to keep your body hydrated it will help you in hydration of your body system so water is very very important you need to be taking enough water during the hamatan season so the second thing i'm going to share with you is that um you need to try as much as possible to avoid alcoholic stuff starting with products that are made with alcohol and other stuff you need to try as much as possible to avoid it and also if you're the type of person that loves taking alcohol every time you need to try to reduce it or if possible avoid intake of alcohol because alcohol tends to dry out the skin moisture so during the hamatan period it's not advisable that you're always taking alcohol or you take lots of alcohol and then the final tip i'm going to give sharing with you is that during the hamatan season we know that hamatan is associated with cold in the early in the morning when we want to have our baths most people tend to feel cold and you don't you would you wouldn't want to bath like that you would want to bath with hot water so when you're going to bath try to bath with no water that have boy 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 like water that they want to use to kill chicken no you are not foul you're a human being bath with like should i say lukewarm no water that is too hot because if you bath with hot water, water that is very very hot, it is going to stripe your like your skin. It is going to take your, your your the moisture on your skin. It is going to prevent like moisture on your skin. So hot water is not like too much hot water is not advisable for you during the hamatan season. It is not advisable if you want to boil water to bath because of the cold then please do not make it to be too hot you can take warm water instead you bath warm water so those are the few tips i'm going to be sharing with you so let me now dive right into my skincare routine yeah i'm going to be starting from the beginning and then to the end it's not a complex it's just like a hammer tan skincare routine so the first step of course is to go and shower the product i use when i want to shower is um i make use of this um dr Tews moisturizing bath and body oil this is um their this is their sweet almond oil when i want to bath what i do is that i take i pour a little bit of this into my bathing water because when i pour this into my bathing water it makes my water to you know to be oily and then 
I notice that whenever I make use of this, like anytime I pour this into my bathing water, once I'm done bathing, I would already start feeling like oiliness on my skin. And that is what I need. I need my skin to be moisturized. I don't want something that will rip my skin off moisture. So whenever I'm going to bath, I make use of my Dr. Seuss moisturizing bath and body oil. And then the next product I make use of is the Dove um, Gentle Exfoliating Beauty Cream Bar. This is the um, bath soap I make use of when I am cleansing. That's when I am having my bath. I make use of this. One thing I really love about this soap is that even when I make use of this soap, when I'm done making use of this soap, I my skin still tends to feel moisturized. Like my skin does not feel dry once I am done bathing. The moisture of my skin does not quickly leaves my skin. And this is not just because of the fact that I actually added um the Dr. Tews inside my bath oil because I've actually made use of this during this hammer time period i've actually made use of this alone to bath without making use of the um this oil when i want to bath and yes this really like helps me and then the way my skin feels like it makes my skin skin feel like moisturized it's not a situation whereby i'm i when i'm done having my bath and then the whole moisture immediately my skin loses its whole moisture and start feeling dry immediately so no that's this um uh, body um this thing this bath soap it's a very good product that you can make use of during the hamatan season and then for my face the product i make use of is the Nive radiant um sorry perfect and radiant even tone cleansing foam and this product is also very very nice just as how this one when i am done having my bath with this bath soap just as how my skin still feels like retains um, moisture in it it does not get dried out immediately that's the same way my face feels when i am done having my baths making use of this so this is what i make use of so these are the products i make use of on my body and then on my face and then the next um step is the on my exfoliating days the product i make use of when exfoliating my skin is the um dr teal's sugar scrub one thing i really love about this um product is how it makes my skin feel soft i mean that is what we are looking for during the hamatan season we want to exfoliate our skin we want our skin to look bright and even in that process we don't want we also want our skin to feel soft and moisturized and hydrated and everything so this um sugar scrub like it's a very very good product i love i uh, using during the hamatan period this is the scrub i make use of so those are the products i make use of when it comes to cleansing and slash exfoliating so these are the products i make use of so once i'm done cleansing my skin of course the next step is to like um start applying my facial products so for facial products the first product i make use of on my face is the vitamin c serum is if it is vitamin c serum and is the um dr rashu vitamin c serum this is the product i make use of on my um during hamatan period this product is moisturizing it moisturizes my skin and it helps to brighten my skin because of the presence of the vitamin c in it it really works well for me during the hamatan period and yes this is what i make use of during the hamatan period so after um applying the vitamin c serum the next product i go in with is my facial cream so for my facial moisturizer the product i make use of is the Nive um perfect and radiant even tone day cream and this cream has an spf of 15 it really really helps moisturize my skin and do even the presence of that spf 15 it does not leave white cast on my skin no whenever i apply this product my skin feels moisturized it's a very very good moisturizing facial cream so this is the product i use in moisturizing my face to make my face still um, still feel moisturized during the hamatan period I, i'm just going to like apply a little bit on my face and then um 
show you how it's really really fused it does not leave any white cast at all though so I'll just take a little bit and apply it on my face Uh, as you can see immediately it's already blending into my skin and if you notice my skin texture is even like as i'm feeling my skin my skin is feeling more moisturized it feels more soft and i really really like i love it i love this facial cream it's one good um facial product you can make use of during like facial moisturizer if you're looking for a moisturizer that will help you um moisturize your skin properly your face properly you can try out this um Nive perfect and radiant um even tone day cream then after my facial cream the next thing and the final thing i just go in with is the gavial sunblock so this is my sunscreen even though they said this has an spf for 15 um <laughs> i still need more because this spf for 15 is not enough is not enough for me so i still need more so i make use of this gavia sunblock and this gavia sunblock has spf of 60 so this is the um, sunblock i make use of and it actually does not like take away the moisture on my face it still make my face feel moisturized and at the same time it does not leave white cast on my face so that's all i use on my face i don't really use so 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 much on my face that's just basically all i make use of on my face and then for the body the only product i make use of on my body is the um dr tews vitamin c body lotion and while i'm using this um body lotion i make use of it together with this bath oil even though i've added this into my water already i still make this make use of this together with this when moisturizing my skin these are the two products i make use of when moisturizing my skin and it's is working well for me so and then for vaseline vaseline is also a good product you can make use of during the hammer time period it's um it's going to help you lock in moisture but for me um vaseline does not really work well with me i don't like using vaseline i don't like the way it makes my skin feel like it makes me feel unnecessarily like sweating and other stuff even hamatan that is meant to like be drying your skin but <laughs> whenever i use vaseline during hamatan i feel greasy not even like sweating like there's way my skin will just be feeling like it's just it just makes me feel so uncomfortable so vaseline is not my thing but if vaseline works well for you fine it's a very nice product for you to use but me i don't like vaseline at all i don't like using making of vaseline and not only does it make my um, skin um texture to feel that way but i don't it tends to make my skin feel dull i don't know but <laughs> i'm at time period is not i'm not just looking for moisture for my skin i don't want my skin to feel dull i don't want a situation whereby my skin is feeling moisturized but <sighs> it's looking dull like trying to it's getting like a little bit darker that's just the way it makes my skin feel and no i don't want that i want my skin to be looking glowing i want my skin to be glowing and at the same time feeling moisturized so vaseline is not just my thing i don't use vaseline what i make use of is this dr tews um body oil it works well for me it moisturizes my skin and it does not make um dust to be overly attracted you know oils generally like attract dust and other stuff but this one is not like the fuel is not like um the um vaseline so i actually make use of this and then this together in moisturizing my skin and i'm okay with it like it's yes it helps me it helps my skin to be moisturized and other stuff so for um some block of course i still apply some block on my skin and i still make use of the gavia sunblock this is what i 
apply on my skin so these are like these are just the three products i make use of on my skin to moisturize my skin during the hamatan period and then um the next one is like for my hand whenever i go out like i always love going out with my hand cream what i love about this hand cream is that whenever my hands start and uh, start feeling dry and all the stuff i just take this apply it on my hands and then rub it and it makes my hand feel like soft softer and moisturized and you know it just makes my hand feel lovely so i really really love this and this is going to like help my hand to be moisturized for some hours so yeah and this is the hand cream i make use of and so guys um that will be that's all for my body aspect and i'm just going to be like giving you a few products i make use of on my hair because not only does hamatan like affect the skin but it also affects your hair it tends to make the hair like for me during the hamatan period um my hair tends to feel like stronger it tends to feel like harder and all the stuff and then it tends to feel like dull it does not like hamatan makes my hair feel dull the look the feel and everything and then it's also like makes my hair break and also another thing i noticed is that whenever i am out to my hair during the hamatan period my hair tends to like feel stronger like it pains me more whenever i want to comb my hair during the hammer time period so for that purpose the products i make use of the main the main the main like products this one is not even just only about hammer time whether hammer time or no hammer time like i love 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 this product the one i make use of very well on my hair is the uh, mega growth break free um leave-in conditioner the mega growth daily leave-in conditioner so i make it of a leave-in conditioner on my hair and mega growth um leave-in conditioner to be precise that's the one i make use of on my hair and it really really helps me in all this like strong textured hair and other stuff so this is what i make use of and whenever i apply this on my hair when my hair start feeling strong and other stuff whenever i apply this on my hair those um strongness and all those stuff just disappears within a minute and then this helps my hair to like feel um softer for some hours so yeah i love this very very well i make use of this every day during the hamatan period so and then the second product i make use of during the hamatan period is um this. this is the second product i make use of during the hamatan period what this product does for me is that it helps my hair to like shine better it's um like my hair looking dull once i've added this one added this one my hair begins like instead of looking dull and you know hard and other stuff like not feeling good it makes my hair to be soft and not only is it like um like soft and not hard again but this argon oil makes my hair shiny so these are like the two products i make use of and of course i just i also make use of this um that can love me from time to time i just spray this on my hair from time to time also so these are like the three like basic products i make use of on my hair to like for the hair for my hair to look healthy and shine to spoil to destroy all those dullness on the hair so like these are the three products i make use of on my hair so guys um that will be end for this video i hope you really enjoyed this video i hope you um got one or two ideas of products or ways you can take care of your skin during the hamatan period these are just like my the way i actually take care of my skin these are just the products i make use of on my skin during the hamatan period so if you ended up enjoying this video please don't forget to please give my video a very big thumbs up if you ended up enjoying this video and please 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 subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not i don't know what you're waiting for but please subscribe to my youtube channel so guys i will see you all on my next video bye